Well, we got a uh, hood scoop here from our friends at Lund that we're going to spray up with a nice uh, red from our automotive uh, spray paint line here. It's our DS. Uh, we're going to do it in a nice red. Um, first, we're going to spray some primer on it, but first of all, we're going to we're going to get it all prepped up with some sandpaper and a prep wipe. Before you spray, you want to make sure that you use a prep wipe to clean off any wax, uh, grease, or any type of solvents, any type of contaminants that may be on on the uh, surface of the product. Yeah, a lot of times the plastic pieces like that, most plastic pieces when they come out of a factory, they have mold release agents on there. You want to get all that off there. Uh, it's basically like a silicone and uh, paint basically will not uh, will not adhere to that. It's like paint over a wax will come off, so you want to get that off first. Get so that cleaned off. So you wipe it down. Before it dries, you want to take a dry rag and wipe that off. Because what happens with the, with the prep wipe, it picks up all the contaminants, but it doesn't take all of them off. So take a dry towelet over the top and actually wipe that off, okay? Now we're ready to sand. Do not sand until you've done first done the prep wipe stage, okay? Now we're ready to sand. So we're gonna now when you're sanding, when you're doing color, you want to use between a 6 and an 800 grit sandpaper, okay? You just want to get a, a light scuff on there just to give something for the paint to stick to. Just a little bit of mechanical adhesion. Yeah. This is just real light because we're going to cover it with color. This paint that we're going to use is a lacquer paint and it will go on real nice and give us a nice gloss. But we also have a nice clear there that we're going to use to uh, um, get a little more gloss, a little more added extra protection on there as well. Put that on completely. Okay. Now that Chris is done sanding it, same thing again. You want to make sure you get all the sanding dust off of it. So take your prep rag, wipe it off one more time. Take your dry towel and wipe over the top of it. So we'll let this just flash for just a moment. Take your tack rag. When you go and use a tack rag, you don't want to press down too, too heavy on, onto the uh, surface because there's uh, beeswax. You don't want to recontaminate the right. surface. So do a light wipe down of this. Remember, that's a sticky, uh, a, it's a sticky rag if you haven't used a tack rag before. And what I'll do is I'll pick up any little light sanding dust that you might have on there give you that perfectly smooth finish for when you're going to paint. Okay. So now we have that done, we're going to let it flash for a minute, and then we're going to spray it with a nice sandable primer. So that's my spray pattern. And when you want to put maybe two to three light coats on this, as you'll notice, I'm not putting it on super heavy. I'm working a nice back and forth motion about six to eight inches from the surface. And I want to make sure I hit every little surface part there, all the little black pieces that you see, all the little cracks and crevices. I'm going to work my way around the table here just so I can get a nice even film on this. Like I said, two to three light coats. Work all the way around the front here. We'll let that flash for a minute or two, and then we'll come back and we'll hit it with at least one more coat. That's pretty good. Looks pretty good right there with a couple nice coats of uh, gray primer on here. And we're going to make sure we get it finished. Then we're going to throw our, our color coat on. We'll let that flash for a few minutes. Dave's going to go ahead here and uh, hit this with some color. You can see he's going to use nice even strokes six to eight inches away. This paint we're using is a nice lacquer, so it's going to re-wet when you put another coat down. Give you a nice shine. There's no recoat window on it, which means you can go back and touch it up anytime you want. We make a couple whole different, a uh, couple hundred different colors in this uh, paint line for automotives out there. Just put a nice little build up of color without getting too heavy on it. We'll let that flash off for a minute or two, and then we'll come back and put couple more good coats on there. Now we're going to hit a nice few coats of clear coat on this. Give it some extra added protection and some extra shine. I'm going to put on a good coat. Once again you want to stay six to eight inches from the surface. Nice back and forth motion. Like I said, I'm going to hit this two or three times to get a nice added protection, some extra added shine. We'll put a nice wet coat on there. Not too heavy, but a nice wet coat. 
We're going to put a final coat of this clear on here for a little extra added protection and gloss. Good thing about a nice lacquer using this as well is what you can do is if you find any imperfections on the surface, you can always rub them out.